Welcome back to another video. In the previous video, I went through customer receipts that's allocating payments from customers or receipts from customers against customer invoices or sales invoices. In this video, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to record payments made to suppliers. So this isn't necessarily every expense. It's just when a payment has been made to a supplier that's on Sage and we need to allocate that payment to an invoice that's on Sage. So credit suppliers. In the previous video, we just clicked on customer receipts. In this video, all we need to do is click on supplier payment. But first of all, if I go to the supplier module, you'll see that I have a supplier on this page that is XYZ supplies. If I double click on their account, and go to activity you'll see that we have a purchase invoice and a purchase credit this was all entered earlier in this tutorial and the balance on the account is 480 so we have 480 that's a purchase invoice of 600 minus the credit of 120 if I go to bank accounts so the bank module and click on supplier payment you'll see that this dummy check sort of screen appears. So we have like this check at the top and the usual sort of table list down the bottom. Bank current account, make sure the right account is selected. If the payment was made with petty cash or on a credit card or any of the other accounts, please ensure that account is showing, not the bank current account. So let's put in the supply here. I've only got the one, which is XYZ. I can either click on the drop down list and find it, or you can just type in XYZ supplies and it will come up. As I select their account, you'll see all outstanding invoices and credit notes appear on this list, just like they did when I did the customer receipt. Enter the date the payment was made. We have check number, but if the payment was made by Bax, you can put Bax up here. Obviously, if it was a check, you can put in the check number at the top right here. Put in the amount, let's just say we paid them £200, a payment on the account, but we want to allocate that to this invoice here. Just click on the payment column on the correct line, the correct invoice you want to allocate the payment to. Put in 200 and click save. It's very similar to the customer receipt. It's exactly the same concept. The layout is just slightly different. Now if I go to the supply module and I load up the supplier account and go to activity, you'll be able to see we have a PP here, purchase payment. So we have a purchase invoice, a purchase credit and a purchase payment. Now just like the customer activity, this bottom box is more detailed and we can see this purchase payment of 200 is allocated to this invoice here, which is the invoice on the system. The best thing to do with Sage is just open a demo account, have a go with a free trial, there'll be a link in the description below. Have a go with a free trial and just play around with the software. Just like anything in life, the more you use something, the better you become, practice makes perfect. So go ahead, practice with this software. There's just one final video in this tutorial, then that will have covered all of the basics of Sage 50 Cloud. There is a lot more to the software. So as mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, please go to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Go to the Sage training page as there are countless tutorials and videos there all for free no registration required go ahead and watch them and learn more about the software